Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, something happened in the last um, Insider previews for the Insiders on Beta and Dev channel. So we had, of course, after two weeks, a build that was released with really no front-facing features, but one very interesting detail. No more watermark on the bottom right of the screen. So first indication that this is the first and possibly the RTM or release to manufacturer. It would seem that uh, in May this month is released to manufacturing for testing and uh, for, of course, a little more testing purposes different on the manufacturer side. That puts us a little closer to the release of 22H2 for Windows 11. Now, it is interesting. This means we're getting close. This means that um, if you want to get out, make sure that you have the opt out button. So usually in the, uh, if you're in the beta insiders or if you're in the uh, release preview insiders in the um, Windows Insider program, uh, you should have available a little option that says stop getting preview builds. And here you should be able to put this at on. If you put this on, which will simply tell the computer when this version is officially released, I want to get out and you will be out of the insider program. Remember those on dev channel, still a chance to go to the beta channel, um, at least. So that will give you the possibility to remove yourself from insiders. It's important because if you stay to dev channel and I haven't changed, we're probably very close to going to 23 H two or going at least forward now. So we're in the last week or two that I would guess we're going to stay at the same build and the dev channel is going to move on. So think about it because it's time for you to decide, do you want to stay or not within the insider program? Uh, for the release date, of course, there's no release date. Uh, some people put it in June. I don't think so. Uh, first of all, June is still in the first half of 2022. So that would be 22 H one. And it has no sense in terms of what version number and the time frame. It um, I would probably put this like a lot of uh, speculators are actually doing, saying maybe August, early September, and that would that would probably be a good time frame. I mean, it's complete. It's really just in the testing phase, and. Um, so that means that 22H2 is now a thing and um, not much more will be changed or added to it. Of course, remember Windows 11 is a evolving system even without having new versions. Apps get up to date and certain features get added or changed even just through you know standard cumulative updates and um, through the, uh, the um, the app store of Microsoft store. And one of the things to remember is that this is a new way forward now where there's going to be a mix of big feature updates and small updates here and there throughout time. Um, one thing that I wanted to also say, a lot of people are asking me, is this going to be a really big update, like a reinstall of Windows almost? Um, it sounds like it might actually. So remember that it actually might be a big update. So this is important to know because that means that it's possibly going to be, um, you know, a, a longer install than the usual cumulative updates for uh, that we get. So we're in the right direction. It seems that Windows 11 22H2 is pretty much complete and will be released a little later this year. My thinking is those that thinks August or September is probably closer to the reality than uh, anyone thinking June would be the time frame. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.